There's always questions that I get asked repeatedly. And one of them is, what are the top marketing mistakes that you see that photographers make? So I made a list of my top 10 things that I see photographers do that they shouldn't. First and foremost, the biggest marketing mistake that I see photographers making is not marketing in the right way on the right places. So a lot of photographers will try to sell on social media. Social media is meant to be a first date between you and your potential clients. It's not meant for you to propose to them. So stop selling on social media. Another way that I see photographers doing this is by blogging client sessions. The whole reason that we blog client sessions is for SEO purposes. And while it's fine to, you know, blog a few client sessions a year if you really feel like they have a story or they're at a venue that you want to shoot at a lot, do not feel like you need to blog all client sessions. A lot of times when people inquire with me about my business and services based off of like an SEO find, like they found me through Google, they don't end up booking because they haven't been properly nurtured. They end up just price comparing me with all of these other photographers. Instead, what we should do is make sure we're bringing people into this funnel, into this client funnel, this journey, you know, where they first find us on social media. And then our website is where they dive deeper into that relationship with us. I teach this entire marketing map in my course, which the doors are open right now. So if you're interested in learning about how you need to be using certain platforms in your marketing, make sure you sign up. The second mistake that I see photographers making is a perfectionist mindset. You guys, perfectionism is literally holding you back. Nothing drives me more crazy than when a photographer like doesn't post things because they don't think it's perfect enough. Stop doing this to yourself. Stop knocking yourself down. Your perfectionist mindset is holding you back and it's keeping you from success. So sometimes you have to acknowledge the fact that done is better than perfect. So even if it's not your favorite photo, even if it's not something that you are just so incredibly proud of, post it, post it, challenge that perfectionist mindset and just do it anyway. The third mistake that I see photographers making is not engaging with their audience. So we ask people to leave a comment, right? Respond to their comments and don't just give like a general response to like all of them, like thanks guys, you know, whatever. Respond to every single one. Instagram doesn't count this as double engagement. Facebook does, but even if it didn't, I would still want you to do that because how rude is it for us to ask them to say something and then to never respond to them? In addition to this, get your people to engage by giving them content that they're interested in. So engage your audience in multiple ways. Start that conversation and keep it going. The fourth thing that I see photographers do that I wish they wouldn't is quitting too soon. You guys, it takes freaking time. Nurturing takes time. Relationships take time. Trust takes time. And all of those things are what loyal clients are made of. Stop posting for two weeks, not getting the results you want, and then quit altogether because you're not happy with that. You're gonna have to keep going. When I first started implementing the type of marketing that I teach in my course into my business, it took about six months for me to really see the full effects of that. That's hard. It is hard to keep going in those moments. But by quitting too soon, you're just gonna have to make yourself start over from the beginning whenever you do get back that motivation to keep going. The fifth mistake that I see photographers making is focusing too much on new clients and not enough on the clients they have. You guys, if you focus on giving the clients that you do have an incredible experience from start to finish, not just during their session, but from the minute they find you to the minute that their session is done and their photos are delivered, you will build a loyal client base in no time. The success rate of selling to a new client is only between five and 20%. The success rate of selling to somebody who has previously worked with you is 60 to 70%. Focus on those people. Focus on maintaining that relationship with them as opposed to finding new ones. 
The next mistake that I see photographers making is copying their competitors. You guys, this is not a one size fits all. You need to hone in on your message because that is the only thing that is going to make it potent enough to make people want to hire you. In my course, I force photographers to dive deep and become more and more self-aware so that they can find their why, which isn't just their purpose, it's also the root of all of their messaging. So essentially, they take this message and they use their photography business as a way to communicate that. And that's what's gonna make you different than your competitors. Stop trying to copy what they're doing and focus on finding what it is that you're supposed to be doing. The next mistake I see photographers making is gambling on mass advertising. One time, I received a phone call from a grocery store and they were like, hey, we saw your business online, we would love for you to advertise on our grocery, uh, like our shopping carts. And at first I was really flattered, like, <laughs> Oh, I feel really important, you know, when really they're just wanting my money, you know, but the thing of it is, is that mass advertising doesn't work because remember how I talked about how every client has a journey? Well, you are talking to people who are cold clients. Anytime you would engage in mass advertising, like a bridal show or Facebook ads or shopping carts, you know, you aren't talking to people who know you and love you. So the odds of them buying from you are very slim. Not that you can't book sessions off of these things, but it's a lot less likely to happen. The next marketing mistake that I see photographers making is avoiding video. Stop freaking hiding, you guys. Show your dang face and show it all the time. It's a proven fact that all platforms, websites, social media, all of them like video content the best. So you need to be showing up in that way for your business. Try doing live videos. I do live videos during my newborn sessions. I do live videos when I'm editing. I do live videos when I'm location scouting. I have an entire month's worth of live videos available on my website as a freebie. So go look it up. And if live videos scare the crap out of you, then don't do it live. Do a pre-recorded video. Use a free program like Loom and just record yourself giving these tips, almost like a blog post, but in video form, and then give it to your audience. The ninth mistake that photographers make is that they think marketing is optional. You guys, we are so freaking willing to drop $800 on a course about shooting and editing. We are so willing to drop thousands of dollars on a new lens that our clients couldn't care less if we had. I built my business on a camera and two lenses and I still only have a camera and two lenses. And it's plenty fine. You know as well as I do that it's the photographer and not the gear that matters. So stop focusing on the wrong things. Focus on the things that get you new clients. You could be the best photographer in the world, but if you don't know how to market, then you will not succeed. The last mistake that I see photographers making is that they allow marketing to overwhelm them into inaction. Marketing does not have to be stressful. In my course, I teach a marketing map that tells photographers exactly how they need to be showing up and where and why. Because when you know the who, what, when, where, why behind what you're doing, it makes all of that stress just kind of melt away. Instead of allowing marketing to overwhelm you, push through that, educate yourself, learn about it, figure out the reasons behind why we're doing what we're doing so that instead of feeling overwhelmed, you can feel empowered. Let me know what it is that's your biggest marketing struggle in the comments below.